Ah, the sea, so fascinating, so wonderful. Here we see Bikini Bottom, teeming with life. Oh, it's close, there it is, fish on. That was a little too close for my comfort there. Oh God, dude. There's some. Those are big size, good size ones too. Hey guys, look at all these pinfish. Holy crap. I've never seen pinfish like that. Oh yeah, we got a lot of rain coming in. Oh, it's already here. Oh, that's a good fish. Good fish. What's going on y'all? It's Carolina Shore Fishing back out here with you. It was a little tough getting out here today. My cart broke on me. I knew it was gonna finally happen because around where the um, axles were, it was just starting to give out. So, had way too much weight on there today. Had to slim it down here, as you can see. And uh, we're out here. I, I made a huge mistake today, though. I uh, listened to the weatherman. That was my first mistake. Second mistake, I didn't bring a hat because I listened to the weatherman. Uh, there's a huge storm offshore and figured you know, I checked the radar and everything. It was supposed to be like storming all day, but I, I still wanted to get out. So those were my first two mistakes. And then um, I left my sunglasses in the car and I don't know, maybe I'll have to run back and grab them. We'll see. All right, anyways, target today, flounder, drum. Let's get after them. All right, I want to use that slam shady. There's a new setup right here. I've had the rod for a really long time, probably like 12 to 14 years. Um, ooh. And I just have now found out that I need to replace it. I've got a new rod coming in, but it just hasn't come in yet. So thankfully that's already taken care of. This rod's done me really well over the years. And we got a new reel here. A lose inshore. Tying on, this has, this is a slam shady and a um, striker, high striker, uh, trout eye. And so I'm gonna try and fish for flounder at, for a good bit here. Hopefully that pays off. Might get rained on here a few times. Oh man, this thing casts really nice. I haven't even worked on adjusting it or anything. Shoes provided to me today by Seekway. You guys can use my coupon code for 20% off, Shore Fishing. They got these nice little drainage holes on them. Let's see how good is the grip on these shoes. Not at all. Not gripped enough for that. Felt like I was on ice skates. But I'm glad I figured that out now before, you know, in the action and I try and step on there. Yeah, there's a lot of bait, but I've got bait and my slam shady even though i forgot to tip it with some pro cure but that's besides the fact oh god i jinxed myself well we'll be back after i kick this out i do need to adjust it what a fool i am all right after about five minutes here picking i think we're getting to it and this one's pretty deep i said it wasn't bad um but I still was able to pick it out. Like that's what I meant by it, it wasn't bad. I wasn't gonna have to cut it. It was just gonna take some time. All right, I turned up the brakes. I'll probably turn them up just a little more. And now we can uh, finally fish this first cast if it's not snag. Plenty of bait. I, I really need to get a um, good net in and catch a bunch because I wanna go drum fishing later. I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. While I, while I have the chance and they're so thick, I need to just do it. I hope this guy doesn't run into my line. I won't doubt his abilities though. Yeah, I need to go grab the net. I'm glad water's moving that way. That way my uh, net doesn't get caught up on the jetty. There's some. Oh yeah, those are big size, good size ones too. Really good drum size bait. 
Good bit of bait right there. Right here in front of me. Should have should have got a good bit in there. Yeah, those are great, great drum drum bait sized mullet. Oh yeah, it's looking like fall fishing, y'all. Oh, look at that nasty storm coming here. Gonna have to hunker down a little bit, it looks like. Oh, there's fish. Oh, I lost it. That was a fish, though. That was a hundred percent a fish. I thought I was getting hung up, but nah, that was a fish. I should have known. I, that's why I didn't let it eat it. I thought I was getting hung up. I thought I was literally right up on the jetty. I need to be paying attention and not looking around. Looks like that storm is pushing in from over there. If it just steers clear of me, I mean, I'll be in the, I'll be in the clear here too. Uh, I checked the radar this morning. It looked like everything was blowing out by noon. But I was supposed to arrive to a giant storm. That didn't happen. Oh yeah, there's blues out there, I think. Either blues or Spanish that are hitting this. I'll need to look at it in a second. No, that felt like two little blues just hit it. And I have some spoons. I'll just go cut this off and put some spoons on if that's the case. Oh, I forgot to look at the bait. There it is. Fish on. That was a little too close for my comfort there, you guys. Oh, he's pulling drag. I don't want to lose it. I'm not sure what it is. It's either a Spanish or a blue, but I, I, I'm not positive here. Hopefully it's a flounder. I think it might be a flounder. Uh, that's a blue or a ladyfish. Ah, uh, it's a good blue. I don't need any blues. Nice way to break in the new reel with a pretty good blue. Maybe I'll go grab some metal and just start slinging metal. Yeah, those blues are probably just sitting right there tearing up at the mullet. But I told you, I, it felt like two blues just came and slapped it. Oh, there's another one. Yep. Yep, he's on. A little blue. Ah, uh, he's off. I'm having fun, it's like bass fishing. All right, let's see how quick we can get one on this time. Come on.
so I took it too quick that time. I gotta let it sink. There's one. Come on. Come back for it. I should be fishing for some flounder, but I'm not gonna lie, catching blues like this is a whole lot of fun. Look at that, good school of bait right there. I really wish the uh, drags, I already keep jumping around, it's kinda just how I am, but really wish this uh, drag was audible, but I don't mind it. My last bait casting reel wasn't audible either. Just got used to it. Oh God, dude. Brad. I don't get why we have to get so close to me, dude. Man, piece of I just want to chime in. This could have ended way worse than it did. He got lucky. The lure wrapped around his kite and didn't hit him. But if that were a four ounce pyramid sinker, a treble hook, anything like that, it would have been way worse than this. But he got the drift and got out of the water as soon as that happened. Alright, Carolina rig here. Got a good size mullet on there. That's not where I wanted to cast it, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna be dragging it. I feel I'm on the bottom on some sand. Oh, there's oh, a pretty good bite right there. There he is. Oh, he's on. Yeah, he's on. Good fish. Good flounder. That's what it is. It's a flounder. Oh, no. It's another blue. Just saw it. I really thought that was our flounder. Thought it was gonna be like an 18 inch or two. What? I mean, that makes like absolutely no sense at all. And I've got a big Nick's diamond jig tied on here. So many silver sides right there. This is gonna match the bait real well. Size and color. There's fish. Oh, nope, lost. Ah, uh, it was weed. It's a good fish, guys. Just came and slammed it. Big flounder. Good size flounder, too. Heck yeah. Did you try and pop him over? Oh, no, never mind. He's just foul hooked. So he felt good. Oh, 
chunky little guy. Real pretty colors too. I haven't caught one of these, I think it's a summer. And I haven't caught one this year. waiting to slap one of these birds with this diamond jig. It's bound to happen. I mean, I caught a kite surfer. What's, what are the odds of that? Dang, that foul hooked flounder. I thought it was going to be a big Spanish or a um, nice flounder. When I saw the brown, I finally saw the flounder. I didn't realize it was uh, foul hooked. Sorry? Any luck? Any luck? Uh, just bluefish. Yeah. Mini bluefish. Yeah, very good. Very good spot to fish. How big they are? Huh? How big are they on the you Pretty small, not too big. That is a big one. Yeah, this one's a fish. I think another bluefish. Uh, bluefish. Thank you, I hope so. Oh, that was a big blue. Oh, yep, he's on. Now your surf side, that's the blue. All right, one flounder, come on now. I mean, one keeper flounder, let me be specific here in my one wish. It's funny, you know, I'm like catching all these blues, so I switch up to metal to just at least have fun catching blues, and then I catch a flounder on the metal. And now I'm back with this, and now all I'm catching are blues again. I can see the pattern here. Oh, I just saw blue literally come up to them. Or at least him surfside. And get eaten by king. Blue got it again, and he's on. It might be a bigger blue. Definitely a bigger blue. Probably the biggest one for today. I won't lie, those big ones were pretty fun to catch. I should have kept three of them to give to Caroline and make some uh, filet dried treats for her. I'll try some cut chunks right now and see if that works for her.
All right, let's actually try and catch a blue now. About all we can catch. We've already got one on. Watch, I'll probably catch a flounder now that I said I want to catch a blue. Here we go, here's one. I'm letting him eat it this time. Oh, I pulled it out of him. Come on. I got him. Yeah, he ain't getting that way. Not on that one. Feels like good size blue. Yeah, I see him out there. Oh yeah, that's a good size blue. Make a nice fly treat for her. Sorry about that. A uh, bluefish. Yeah. No, my dog is. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one might give you lemons. You make lemonade. 